Hi, I'm Claire. And I'm Katie. And welcome to the official Winchester Fashion Week TV, where we'll be bringing you all the latest updates on the run-up to Fashion Week. This week, we visited Winchester's High Street to check out this season's must-have items and the upcoming trends in High Street store New Look and one of Winchester's exclusive boutiques. Our current trends are Hotel by Gloss, that's the first one. That one's got more of a boho feel, very floaty and romantic fabrics. Um, it's also got quite a lot of brights in it, which is going to eventually lead into the holiday shop trend. Um, you get It's contrasted against muted palette, which is um, chinos and peg leg trousers, which gives it more of a vintage edge. Our second one is called Pimza Clock. That palette is very pastel-y lots of pastel colours, florals and denim. Um, it's also going to contrast into the festival season that's going to come up next season. Um, shoes are from, I think, a little independent shop that's actually in Winchester. Trousers from Top Man. I think the shirt's from American Apparel. There's a skateboarder called Dylan Ryder. You won't have heard of him, but he looks pretty cool. He skateboards wearing shirts, so he looks pretty smart <laughs> while he's doing something that's not very smart. I like to shop at Primark, River Island and Crew. Espadrilles. Don't mind them on girls, it's fine. But guys, it's a bit like wearing slippers. Pavilion opened with an aim to offer men and women something different from the rest of Winchester's High Street. Stocking designers like Hugo Boss, the boutique offers style, quality and individuality. There's a real feeling for colour um, and colour blocking and putting really bright colours together. Um, and I find definitely um, in Winchester our customers are not afraid of colour, never have been, but this season it's a particular um, trend. So putting oranges and pinks together and putting quite clashing colours, which looks lovely. Um, another trend, really at the other end of the scale, is a very sort of quite utility trend with um, quite sort of sludgy type of colours. So all based around the combat trousers, skinny combats in khakis, and then teamed with soft pinks and creams and beiges. So two quite contrasting um, colour stories. Spring is the season leading us to Fashion Week, so florals are still key and vintage is huge. Pair your chinos with your escadrilles. With summer coming up, it's also festival season, so make sure you've got yourself a pair of gladiator sandals and a maxi dress, which fits perfectly with New Look's holiday shop trend. Colour blocking is big at Pavilion. Apparently the people of Winchester aren't shy where colour is concerned, which is a good thing on the lead-up to Fashion Week. Another key trend is mixing your pastel colours, so like soft pinks and blues, with more brooding colours like khaki greens and beige. Um, I'm wearing a t-shirt, which is Lee, and it's from uh, Urban Outfitters, a couple of years old. Um, this belt is from River Island, also a couple of years old. These jeans are Dr. Denim, and they're from Urban Outfitters. And these shoes are actually from Bank, and they um, weren't too expensive. We found them in the sale. Um, not necessarily an archon. Um, I kind of follow what kind of the music I listen to. I listen to the, like, the bands and see what they're wearing, and then almost copy that. I dip into River Island every so often, but I'm a big fan of charity shops. There's loads in Winchester. Um, I really enjoyed sifting through the rat stuff and then uh, finding some gems. Uh, this season, a skirt? Um, uh, no, any, any sort of leery colour, not a massive fan. Like anything of like terrible, like coral. <laughs> or a lime green. No, no, not for me, thank you. Um, the shirt's from H&M, the white top is from Topshop, I think, the leggings are from Topshop and my flip-tops are from Topshop. <laughs> um, not really, like I'll see people on TV and think, oh they look nice, or in magazines and stuff, but mostly it's stuff like lookbook because it's like regular people in clothes, that, like high street clothes, so. Um, kind of limited because um, yeah, mostly like New Look, I guess, and River Island and stuff. I don't understand double denim. I really can't get my head around it. It's not good. Talk us through the key trends that you've got in store at the moment. Okay, at the moment, we've actually got um, a lot of denim, 
um, which was selling really, really well. Uh, lots of little, little tiny little key pieces, little, little lacy tops, um, mix and match bits and pieces. Um, we had a lot of stripes in too, which worked really well, just white and blue stripes. And then upstairs we have our more formal wear, so lots of gorgeous gowns. Like beading on them, we've got long ones, we've got short ones off the shoulder, has been really in for this season. So, lots of uh, we've got a lot of mixed mix things. Um, and what do you think are the key things that everybody should be wearing this summer? Um, bright, bright clothes, a um, little bit of sparkle on some of these. Um, great, great pair of jeans, it goes a long way. Yeah. A long way. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, shoes are from Top Man, uh, jeans from H&M, just got them a couple of weeks ago. T-shirts from Urban Outfitters and shirt is from Uniqlo. Not really an icon, I like a lot of the stuff that Mark Ronson wears, like the suits and stuff. So. Uh, mostly River Island I'd say. Orange. Next, on to crew. Can you talk us through uh, the trends within the store? Yeah, um, Crew's a casual luxury British brand. Um, we have trends that go through the whole of our season, so the polos and the cables, and they've made the cables into cardigans, which is also quite good, and changed a little bit. Um, recently, they've got quite a few different things they're kind of trying to get with the trends at the moment. So like the maxi skirts and some dresses and some more kind of younger styles, but it is also aimed at kind of an older audience. But having stuff like the maxi skirts and the nice little dresses, that's kind of the trend we're trying to get to at the moment. So they've changed it a little bit, which is quite nice. It's kind of a new refresh for crew. And what do you think is a key piece that everyone should have this summer? I think either the maxi skirt or one of the little dresses. We've got a lovely stripy blue and white dress and a red and white dress, which is lovely. It's only just come in, so we're quite excited about it. So, Lastly, we hit Jules. Can you just talk us through the key trends that you've got in store at the moment? Yeah, um, our theme at the moment is Celebrate Summer, so everything's very lightweight and colourful. Um, we've got lots of prints going on, so we've got lots of florals and stripes going with the summer theme and also the stripes in the nautical to make it more sort of beachy as well. What do you think is one of the key pieces that everybody should, everyone should wear this summer? Um, our wellies do really well, I think because they are very long lasting and um, with the British weather, I think it's something some, a lot of people are going to need, um, especially as we're focusing on festivals as well, um, with the tunics and the lightweight blouses that we've got in. I think the wellies um, are going to be something that people need if they're going to be outside with the British weather. So for essential festival gear, head to Jules to stock up on your wellies. And for more nautical look, head to Crew. To look fabulous in those summer evenings, Little London has everything you'll need. That's all for this week. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and visit winchesterfashionweek.com for regular updates.